All right, everyone, so it has been a while since I did my last video, um, and actually these this is the final result of one month um, with the Clairol's Natural Instincts um, 6R, which is like their light red-brown, or usually light red. And as you can see, it completely faded out, and I have about two inches to three inches of regrowth with some of the grays that actually did get covered um, and they stayed stained. Other than that, my regrowth is back and you know, the ends are kind of faded and it's looking kind of dull. Um, the lighting in here is bad so it doesn't show it as well. I'm gonna do the final result in the better bathroom. But anyways, um, it's been about three months since I had the keratin in and my keratin is starting to wear off, so now I can actually use a permanent color because permanent hair color is actually what strips out keratin treatments. And for this video, I'm gonna be using the John Frieda's um, 5R foam color. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do a root or regrowth touch-up application. And this is, a think, of the newer version. Um, it's been discontinued, but I have a few boxes left. It's a pretty intense red. It claims to be a red-brown, but it's actually a true red with violet undertones. And inside you get your pair of gloves, your foam pump, your developer, your instructions, which they changed them to black and white, I don't know why. So plain and simple with the instructions is for a root, which is option B. For the root application, you apply a ten size ball amount of foam starting at your natural part and then you repeat this at least five times to the front of your head and at least th uh, three times to the back. Continue to add foam until the roots are covered and you leave foam on the roots for at least ten minutes. And then after ten minutes you apply the remaining foam all over and you do 10 minutes for lengths to tips, and if you have extra grays, you do an extra 10 minutes for 30 minutes maximum. Now, in my experience, both um, professionally and with using this product, with a lot of gray hair or with resistant hair, you can leave a color on for 40 to 45 minutes, and that's usually what I do, because my hair is actually resistant to take color. It also comes with the conditioner, so after um, I do this, I'm just gonna rinse. So, let's get started. Um, one thing you want to make sure you read everything thoroughly, which I've done, I've used this before. If you have hair like mine, one is more than enough. It creates at least two liters of foam. And I actually tried using two once and that was such a mess. I had, so, I wasted a lot and it, it's a lot of money because one box of this was at least like $13 at the store. And when this got discontinued, I not only got it on sale, but beforehand, when it, before it got discontinued, I would purchase it um, with a coupon and I would actually get it uh, cheaper. So you actually tilt, you never want to shake this. This is the colorant, the fiber. It smells like ammonia, but actually when I've noticed when you mix it, it dissipates. And this is actually so neat that you can literally take this and put it right in the box. Unlike a, the cream dye or the gel dye, which tend to get everywhere. So you're gonna tilt this back on and you're gonna tilt five times. So one, two, three, four, five. Now it's nice and mixed like this. It looks brown, but believe me, it actually turns a lot red. It's like has a purple hue to it. And it actually kind of smells like berry. It does not smell bad at all. It's not as harsh as the other dyes are. So you're gonna turn that until you hear a click like I just did. And then you just put on your gloves.
So starting out, I have my hair in its natural part. I'm gonna take this. That's about a tennis ball size amount. And I'm just gonna smooth this right over here. And then, what I like to do is use a comb to kind of help. Take another rough section. Go like that. So now I'm gonna do I always like doing the foam colors because it's actually really fun to actually apply it with your hand. It's like such a different way of doing it. And it doesn't get as messy. So I've done it about three times. It's said to do five times in the front of the head. So I'm gonna go like here. And the foam actually spreads itself out too, which is nice. And for the front pieces, you can take a small amount of foam and just kind of run it back. Make sure you get behind the ears and all that. All right, so now I have that done. So now for the back. What I normally do is split my hair in half like this. Take a tennis ball size amount. And I run it through the back. Once. I then lift my hair up. Do another tennis ball size amount underneath. And you kind of give it like a little rub. Make sure you really get in there and saturate those uh, roots in the regrowth. I call them roots, you're not supposed to, but we all do it. <laughs> in cosmetology school, it's funny because we do get reprimanded a lot for saying roots um, for the root application. You really want to massage them and And a little overlap with this color is actually not so much of a bad thing. It doesn't get dark like the other ones do. So then with this on, I do a little bit like this and I just kind of feather along the sides, up top. I'm gonna wait 10 minutes and then I'm gonna come back to put the rest of it on.
All right, so I am back. Um, I read the directions wrong. It actually was, um, I just wanna fix this. It was 10 minutes for the roots. And then it says, if you have stubborn grays, thick or coarse hair, leave on an extra five to 10 minutes, which is for the extra grays. And then you're gonna, for the last 10 minutes, I actually do like 15 minutes because you have to massage it. You run it through the ends. So I'm gonna put the gloves back on. And that's the one thing I like about John Frieda is that with their products, they they prof they give you the uh, professional like stuff. Like the gloves that they give you here are the same gloves that we use in the salon, and they're not like the nasty plastic sheets that you get in the other hair dyes um, or the hair colors that you get on the shelf. Like in some of my other videos when I reviewed different brands, um, my biggest complaint was that they were like plastic sheets, and it's very difficult to apply the color; it drips through. So these gloves do fit pretty well. Um, they are kind of small, so if you do have heavier hands, you might need to use, um, or fatter hands, you might need to use uh, bigger ones. So now what I do is pretty simple. I just kind of roughly section my hair up. You can see the foam started to oxidize a little bit. It's more of like a purple. I take it like so, and I just massage it right into my hair. You really, really want to make sure you saturate and rub it really well. And then you're just gonna massage it, kind of like you're shampooing your hair for about, I'd say a few minutes, I'd say like about three minutes. Your hair should look very frothy like this, kind of like one frothy snowball. If it's frothier, you've probably put too much product. And I know it says, um, it kind of tells you like how much foam you may need. It says for extra long or thick hair, you may need more product. Um, for chin length or shoulder length hair, use the entire bottle. So I might need a little bit, I don't actually think I need more, but your hair should kind of look like this. And really for a, um, 
on retouch application, you don't need that much because you really want to focus the majority of your product on the regrowth. You really want to saturate the regrowth. That way that process is better as opposed to everything. Um, and it does say, I think, on the box, or I think on the older box, it said just like shampoo your hair and kind of put it on all at once. You can also do that. I've done that and I've noticed that my hair was not as darker. Um, like other box dyes, if you overlap, you end up getting darker. With this product, that's not the case. There's definitely something in there that kind of stabilizes it um, and actually made my hair a little bit lighter, which I was pretty impressed with. So just kind of massage it, making sure you get everything covered. And I will be back um, and once I rinse this and I'll show you the final product, the final um, result of using this. All right, so I had just finished washing out the color and honestly it was amazing, um, was a very awesome experience because for those of you that have been dyeing your hair for a while or for those of you that are colorists in a salon, you know that when you're using cream hair dye, especially cream and even sometimes gel, it takes forever to wash it out of your hair. You're gonna be there for like at least 10 minutes. You really wanna make sure the water runs clear. And then with redheads, it's even trickier because red always fades the quickest that when you, you want it to wash out, but you don't want it to wash out completely clear, Otherwise, you're taking all that red hair dye out. Well, with this hair color, it was actually really easy. It was under like three minutes just going in with some warm water. And then I used a very light shampoo because that's what you're always supposed to do. Uh, I've used this in the past and I haven't shampooed and it didn't matter. It's just that sometimes you get that like very faint smell of hair color and I just wasn't in the mood to smell that. And before I forgot, um, this, is a, I, this is the newest version of the color. I just had some laying around because my stockpile is like narrowing. I use the sealant each and every time I um, color and this is the, the Vibrancy Locking Sealant. Uh, it actually protects your hair color from fading and I did notice a difference with using this product. Um, it's really easy to use. You just gotta towel dry your hair and use a dime size amount, rub your hands together and just put it through the ends. Um, applying directly, avoid applying directly to the to the roots, um, use more or less depending on the length and the texture of hair. Do not rinse it out so you style. It's kind of like a, a shine factor, like a shine serum. It's actually identical to the old, um, which I might do a review on, it's the old uh, Radiant Red. Um, they had one for like red hair and it was pretty much the exact same product, except this one has like a nice little smell to it. That's about a dime size amount. And you just apply through. And you can see my regrowth are complete. My regrowth is completely covered. Um, hair tends to look kind of, it looks different and sometimes darker when it's damp. So when it's dry, it should be a little bit brighter, which is what I always like. And with this, I try to get through the back because the back tends to tangle the most at me. And honestly, with this hair color, it's very gentle. It's not as harsh as some of the other over-the-counter stuff is. Um, it's actually the closest thing to professional hair color that you can get on the market for the that the consumer can get without a license. Um, and with the 5R, I know that is discontinued, but you can actually get it from England because the UK, uh, where John Frieda was founded in, uh, does still sell the shade. And you can get it um, through sellers that actually were smart enough to list this shade and the burgundy one online for a really decent price of only $14, $15. Uh, some of them might be more, but it is well worth the money. If you're on a budget, you can't afford to get your hair done in a salon and you're looking for options um, for options, and you want healthier looking hair color at home without paying a lot. So I'm gonna go blow dry and flat iron my hair and I'll show you guys results. All right, everyone, I am back and I have blow dried and flat ironed my hair. And as you can see, my hair is so revived. It's incredibly vibrant. 
my new growth that was like out to here is now completely covered and it blends in really nice with this nice, very vibrant, kind of like a, a, a slight purple red. And I have tried John Frieda's Burgundy and that will be on the agenda for the coming year 2017. Also, I do want to apologize in advance if my camera shuts off because the battery's on red, but it was a great, great hair dye. Um, it's pretty even all throughout, even the sides. The ends took really well. It's got a nice shine to it. It's very healthy still. It's not damaged or dry. Let me see if I can get a back shot too. But it was, it's actually one of my favorite hair colors and when I started getting into coloring my hair at home, John Frieda was one of the first colors that I have used and I've been uh, using it since about 2011 when it first came out. So give or take that's like five, six years that I've been sticking with it and if they were to continue using it here in the States, I still would use it instead of importing it. But now that I have my cosmetology license, I can pretty much go into the store and purchase whatever or whatever colors that I want. But it's actually a really good box dye for um, for being boxed. Um, it's the closest thing you're gonna get to professional. It is a little bit more pricier than the other brands, but you do pay for what you get. And with that color, um, you do have coupons sometimes for it. Like the one time when I purchased it, I think it was you get $3 off. So instead of 13, it was $12. No, instead of 14, it was like 11. So I made the cashier ring up like literally nine boxes separately. And that was at um, Harmon's, but Ulta used to carry it. Um, other than that, there's really not much to say about it other than it is a wonderful color. Um, my ends that were a little bit lighter are actually blended in perfectly. Uh, there is no contrasting color, and I did leave it on a little bit longer than 30 minutes. I did about 45, because I have darker hair and it's thicker. Um, it's not going to be that crazy, crazy red, but it's going to be definitely red to where you notice it, so that's like the perfect balance. Uh, the lighter your hair is, the, the lighter this color will take. Um, if you have highlights or if you have blonde, blonde hair, it'll come out more purple. I've seen that on YouTube, and I do want to try that, where I add in some chunky highlights and then a the color over. But let me know what you think, and if you have tried this product, um, just like, comment, subscribe, and I will try to get back to your comments. Uh, let me know if you've used John Frieda before. Um, all in all, by the way, with this color, I would definitely rate it a perfect 5 out of 5. It is a wonderful, wonderful color. Um, I think the previous videos I've done before, I've never given a box color a 5 out of 5, and this is the first time I've ever done that. So John Frieda 5R, uh, if you want a nice, intense, medium red, you can't go wrong. Have a wonderful new year, everyone, and I wish you guys a wonderful and happy, uh, safe 2017. Let's make it a better year than 2016. So sayonara, 2016.